involving then Vice President Joe Biden. Ray offered to let you and Comer view the document and do it in a secure location. Comer wants it physically turned over to the full committee. What are your thoughts? You're the ranking Democrat on that committee. So the FBI is coming tomorrow to show Chairman Comer and me the document that they're looking for. In other words, uh, the Republican majority on the committee is getting everything they're asking for uh, in terms of seeing the document, which, by the way, they say they have also already seen. Um, and yet they're still talking about holding the director of the FBI in contempt, even though they're getting exactly what they want, even though the FBI has been overwhelmingly cooperative and accommodating uh, to this request. So that demonstrates to me that what they're really interested in is in holding the FBI director in contempt, not in getting a document that they've already seen. And, you know, I don't know what this document is because the majority has closed us out, the Democrats uh, on the committee. They are uh, no longer respecting a bipartisan agreement that the committee's had for the last several Congresses. You have no idea what's in it? Well, there have been published reports uh, which suggest that it has to do with Ukraine. That was a period, you remember, when Rudy Giuliani was running around with a Russian agent who uh, later was found to be so by the Treasury Department, Trump's Treasury Department, um, and he was waiving different kinds of documents. Attorney General Barr, Trump's own attorney general, was so skeptical that he created uh, a panel to look at all of this information, saying you've got to take the Ukraine stuff with a grain of salt. So I think it probably has to do with Ukraine and allegations that went nowhere. In other words, this was looked at by the Trump Justice Department, and I think they ended all of it in August with no prosecutions, no indictments, and they're going back to recycle these unfounded accusations. Let's go back to the initial question about how much access uh, the Congress will get to this document, whether you can actually have it. If the roles were reversed and uh, you found out that the FBI had a document containing an allegation about Donald Trump, wouldn't you want unfettered access to that document? Well, of course, you always want unfettered access. But remember, you're talking to somebody who was in the majority when Donald Trump was president, when he ordered every department of the U.S. government not to comply in any way with requests of the House Oversight Committee. So it would have been remarkable if every time we requested a document, they brought it over to show it to us, much less give it to us. So they keep changing the demand in order to find some reason to find fault with FBI Director Ray, which is why I say what they're really going after is a contempt citation against him, and it's all part of what Chairman Comer uh, admitted was an effort to get Donald Trump's poll numbers up. Yeah. It's all about the 2024 campaign. Let me ask.